Time to take a look at the South region where, KP, I get to be the first person ever to make this joke. Houston, do we have a problem? I'm just saying, what do you think of this bracket? Well, you look at Houston, the number one team in that region. Um, they have, first of all, the best backcourt in college basketball with Jamal Shedd and LJ Cryer. But they are battered. They have they they went through the season with some injuries. Terrence Arsenal tore his Achilles. You have Joseph Tugler, broken foot, and then right before the season ended, Jerron Roberts is out. So they are beatable, but Calvin Sampson, he's someone that you do not bet against in the NCAA tournament. Guards can really explode in this tournament, and I think Jamal Shedd and LJ Cryer are is the key. Isn't it crazy, though, how one loss changes a whole conversation, right? Because yep. a week and a half ago, it was Houston, Houston, Houston. Yeah. They got their butts kicked, yeah. right? Like, they got I don't like know what to do with that. Um, I love the fact that you said they are batter. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, we make up our own words here. I, I do. I did like them a lot. That one loss rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't like how they lost. Um, it's not the fact that they lost. It's how they lost. I like Wisconsin at this top half of the bracket for them, uh, uh, upsetting them. Um, they have a, a good guard, A.J. Store, 6'7", 17 points a game, yeah. who's doing really well for them. They play a swing out, very methodical place. Low turnover team. They play at a low possession. I can see them beating a team like Houston. Um, and this is all, but my bracket on this side, I like Marquette a lot as well. And this is all based off of the health and of Tyler Kolick uh, and then seeing how well he can stay healthy or get healthy and lead them. If he's not healthy, I can't pick Marquette, but I have Marquette, if healthy, coming out of this bracket. You're burying the lead here, though. The most important thing we got to figure out is where's Duke losing, right? Like, that's what the and, whole and world wants. And that's why I picked wants. Wisconsin. Uh, you're picking Wisconsin because you think they can beat Duke? Uh, yeah, I, I actually like James Madison in that matchup against Wisconsin, upsetting Wisconsin, but I don't think Wisconsin can beat Duke, so I had to pick Wisconsin. In order, to, they have to advance in order to beat Duke because I don't think James Madison can get it done. KP, who's taking Duke down? I have it the battle of the blue buds between Duke and Kentucky, and I think Kentucky has all of the weapons in order to come out of this region. They have seven potential NBA players. They've got Rob Dillingham and Reed Shepard, two of the best freshmen in college basketball this year, getting things done. They know how to. They're not afraid of the big moments. Both of them have also hit game winners this season. And just the, the balance of Coach Calipari brought in key transfers and, and has the number one recruiting class coming in. I think they're the team to come That was my next pick. If, if Marquette is not healthy, I like Kentucky a lot as well. But I'm banking on a healthy Marquette who I have making it to the Final Four. Um, but to, for me to beat Duke, the team beating Duke for me is Wisconsin. I like Stephen Crowell, seven foot big, shoot 45% from three. I think he can stretch the floor a little bit. And hopefully they send them home early because nobody wants to see Duke. Anymore. I'm like all of America. I think I think JMU beats Wisconsin, which means they got to beat Duke. And obviously Marquette, Kentucky. I'll agree with you, KP. I got Kentucky going to the Final Four. So we'll see how it plays out. Be sure to get in on the action with Yahoo's Bracket Madness game for both the men's and the women's tournaments. You could win $25,000 in our Best Bracket Contest. It's free to play, so head to yahoo.com tourney to sign up.